somebody asks, like, how did you get the name Rainbow Drive? COVID shut everything down. So before our business model, you know, was doing high-end catering, wine dinners, doing uh, um, takeout. So we had like three different facets and then eliminated the COVID, eliminated two out of the three. So imagine a three-legged stool. Just, you cannot sit on a one-legged stool, right? Two of your legs are missing. It's kind of hard to sit. So it was very tough. And so we had to adjust. So instead of, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, we really focused on takeout and our takeoff started to evolve. And now we're doing, you know, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, we're very grateful to be where we're at and we're very lucky to have uh, a lot of continued support and a lot of regulars. So um, we've had to adjust, but it, you know, being in a smaller company and not being in a big corporation where you can't make decisions and you can be quick and nimble has helped a lot. So when I see, uh, a decision that has to be made just based on my experience and based on my gut feeling, I just do it. And you know what, if it doesn't work out, I can switch and I can, and I can follow up. Um, you know, it, it's not gonna break the bank. So we're, we're able to be flexible, look at it, make an educated guess. Um, and then if it doesn't work, we can switch. But we're always changing and always evolving. Uh, and that's something that, you know, we're, we're fortunate to have. Super important to to support us local businesses local farmers local agri agriculture because you know without them our economy and our whole uh, our whole culture will collapse uh, I was trying to sell local fish because no one else was buying it you know I was trying to support the local I, I focus on local fish I brought in local beef I wanted to support all the local because you know we're a local business and without them we can't survive so we tried to help everyone that was, uh, you know, in our sort of food chain. And we chose them, even though it might be a little more expensive, even though it might be uh, a little more challenging to get, we, we, we did it and we promoted it. We promoted local produce bags. We promoted local fish. Uh, we continued to promote local uh, uh, beef, cattle. Um, and it, we also wanted to tie that into the community because the community was so supporting us. You know, at a certain point, we would see our regulars come in and, you know, hey, you know, they just stop to say hi. Hey, glad you guys are still, you know, doing okay. Um, and, you know, that really meant a lot. And so we try to get back to the community. You know, we, we cooked um, thousands of bentos for uh, the hospital, first, the first line workers. And, um, you know, there was a lot of local support uh, that funded that. And we, we appreciate any opportunity to help out the neighborhood or our community um, that supports us and then in that and give back 
right? So it's a very symbiotic relationship, and, and that's kind of what we're all about, you know, because we're, we're nothing without the community. So we want to give back and support that. Thank you.